Mm. Well, when did this happen? I see. Look, I want you to find out how this happened, right? Well, who did it? Call me as soon as you have something. Well, what happened? What's wrong? You are not going to believe this, but someone posted Teresa's bail this morning. She is being released as we speak. Oh, you've got to be joking. I wish I were. Okay, I got some ginger tea and some mm, plain saltine crackers. Cook says it's good for your stomach and should help with the nausea, too. Thank you. Um, you can someone uh, bail Teresa out of jail today? Bail her out? Yeah. It, it wasn't you, was it? Me? Yeah, please just tell me the truth. You did not post her bail. When that is ridiculous. And just answer my question. No, I had nothing to do with her making bail. But to be honest with you, I'm glad that she did. You are? Absolutely. She's lost her job, she's lost her home, and even worse, she's lost her son. As far as I'm concerned, she has suffered enough. Okay, I can tell by the look on both your faces that you're not happy about my saying that Teresa doesn't deserve to be in jail, but I'm sorry. That's how I feel. So that's why you posted her bail? I just told you, Rebecca, I had nothing to do with posting her bail, but I'm glad that somebody did. I just can't believe this. Listen, I mean, no matter what we're doing, what we're planning, or how close I think you and I are, Teresa always, always manages to put a wedge between us. It's like she's got you under some spell or something. Rebecca, can I have a moment alone with my wife, please? What? what Gwen is ill. I don't want to leave her alone now. Her? I'm fine. Just go. Oh, and do me a favor. Don't eavesdrop in the foyer, all right? Yes. Yeah, and thank you so much for having the results so quickly. Okay. You're still here? I was waiting for Gwen's lab results. Oh, the perfect excuse for you to hang around hoping to hook up with my husband. I don't have time for this, Rebecca. Eve, I want you to stay away from Julian. He is mine now. And there is no way in hell that I'm going to give him back to his former hoochie mama. Eve. Hi. Have you uh, heard back from the lab yet? Just now, honey. Everything is good. It, your blood work is fine. It's, it's all it's all good. Are you okay, Gwen? You, you seem a little upset. I'm fine. Okay, well, I'll check in with you later then. When you are, you are upset. What's going on? Yeah, it's Ethan. Oh no, he really did post Teresa's bail? No, it's much worse. Mother, he didn't want to adopt little Ethan for us. He wanted to do it so he can give him back to Teresa. I will never allow Ethan to give Teresa back her son. That is not going to happen. Well, of course not. I mean, adopting little Ethan is the perfect way to get our revenge on Teresa for all the pain that she's caused you. I just don't understand. No matter what we do, Teresa is always there. She's like some evil specter just haunting our life. It's like she's enslaved Ethan. I mean, every single decision that he makes, it involves her somehow. We're going to stop soon. I see. I mean... I just can't believe the only reason he wanted to adopt little Ethan was to help Teresa. It wasn't for us, so we could have a child. It was only to help Teresa. But that's never going to work. Now, Teresa is beyond help. Now, I have seen to it that she and the whole rest of her pathetic family have no way to survive in this town. But they have no jobs, no home, no money. The only way they can survive is to leave Harmony. Well, I say adios. Because once Teresa leaves Harmony, we will never have another problem. And then we will never have to deal with Teresa or a whole immigrant clan again. 
lied to me, Gwen. And he lied to me. Gwen, you cannot let this get to you. How can it not? Look, if you want my advice, let Ethan think that he can give little Ethan back to Teresa. But he can, and he will. No, that's where you're wrong. It'll never happen. Look, it's not just his decision. Gwen, once you and Ethan adopt little Ethan, then he legally becomes both your child and Ethan's. But you both have to decide to give the little boy back to his mother. And there's no way in this world I am ever going to agree to give little Ethan back to Teresa. Well, of course not. No, and you know that, and I know that. But Ethan doesn't. And that's how you want to keep it. You don't want to tell him how you feel. You want to keep the peace for now. Let him think he's actually going to get away with his ridiculous little plan. I just really hate deceiving my husband. We'll get over it. You have to. Look, I hate to be the one to tell you, but he apparently is already deceiving you. You're right about that. So for now, you are not going to make any waves. You're going to wait for the right time. And when that time comes, you are going to stand your ground. Magnificent. And I will. Because... There is no way I am ever going to give little Ethan back to Teresa, so help me God.